So, um, Elon Musk founded SpaceX in the early 2000s uh, because early on he had this idea that he wanted to send a greenhouse to Mars, which is kind of a, a crazy idea uh, if you think about it. Uh, but this idea that streaming back the pictures would inspire people. Um, well, now fast forward um, over a decade and SpaceX, his space launch company, has been able to create a class of reusable orbital booster, really for the first time in the history of spaceflight, a fully reusable first stage orbital booster. Um, that's something that even maybe six or seven years ago, if you went to the rocket community and asked, people would say it's crazy. It's not the way things are done. It's probably not possible. And if it's possible, it's gonna be way too expensive to be economical. And Elon and the team at SpaceX was like, this is something that is important. This is how we're gonna reduce launch of co uh, the cost of launch. It's crazy to be throwing away these boosters after every flight. That would be like throwing away jumbo jets after every transatlantic crossing. And they said, we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it. And we're gonna sh prove it's possible. And we're gonna make the economics work. And I think it's thinking like that that is not always found within science, that's not always found within industry, and the more f crazy folks you have that push people like that, the more kind of a radical innovation like reusable rockets will have. Because again, Elon didn't know what he didn't know, right? He didn't know that's not the way it's done. He didn't spend his career in a rocket company, in a propulsion company, doing rocket engineering, doing aerospace engineering. And so he didn't know that reusable orbital class vehicles wasn't the way things were done. And because of that, was able to create a company that is now doing that and has dramatically dropped the cost of launch to orbit. And